Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and this is part two of my Let's Go Camping Three Camps Variation videos. So today we're going to do the paradiddle family, and that'll consist of single paradiddles, double paradiddles, triple paradiddles, and paradiddle diddles. The paradiddle is one of the most important stickings that you can learn. It's great for drum set. It'll pretty much get you out of any kind of jam when you're doing a fill. Uh, learning these four different types of stickings are really, really important for your development as a percussionist and drummer. Uh, the sticks I'll use today are two different pairs. I'll use this pair uh, of black wenge uh, reverse tips like I used in the first video. And also I'm going to use a pair of heavier uh, Coco Bolo reverse tips. So these reverse tip sti sticks are kind of front loaded where there's a little more weight on the tips, which helps you learn how to bounce better. But the uh, the heavier ones, these right here, are about 82 grams, and the light ones are 70 grams. So uh, you just heard the three camps and single paradiddles there. That's on page four of my book, if you have that, and I'll put it here on the screen. So uh, when you do a paradiddle, the thing you have to remember is that part of it is bounced, which is the double. You don't want to use your wrist for every stroke. So uh, if we start slow, and by slow I mean half that tempo, so we'll start at 100, and I'll play match grip for you first. Uh, we're going to use our wrist for the accent. But we're going to let the double bounce, and that's very important. You don't want to do this. That's all wrist. So that's fine slower. That'll give you a lot of control. But doing the speed that I did in my opening just, just now, that was quarter note equals 200. So there's no way you're going to do that with your wrist. So you have to bounce that. So the accent I used is called a whip accent. So I'll put on the metronome here. I suggest you put it on subdivided sixteenths when you're practicing slow or fast. So you see there that accent. Now it's not a stiff wrist, it's almost a whipped wrist like this. So a little bit of a mini Muller technique. All right, so. You don't see me doing this. That's a stiff wrist, so you want to avoid that. And as always, really relaxed in your shoulders, your face should be relaxed. Tension's going to try to arrive at many different places. Usually it's the shoulders and the face, if you watch yourself in a mirror. If you're making funny faces, if you're clenching your jaw, if you're not breathing, that's tension. Just needs to flow right out of you. Now these heavy sticks really help with that bounce when you're developing it. Uh, they kind of play themselves, the heavy sticks, on the bounce. Again, it's just gravity. I spoke about this in the uh, first video. So then if we play it fast with match grip, or just a little faster, like 140, let's say 150, you'll see the height start to compress. So I'm playing lower, but I'm also using a little more of a whipped wrist and now some fingers on the accent, okay? So as you go faster, you can use a clinch stroke there. So, so that kind of stroke, all right? So if I go even faster now, let's say 180, you'll see me do even more of that. So once again, even a little lower, a little more clinch. 
So the moral of the story is the slower you go, the higher the motion, the more whip-like it is. And the less finger uh, accent you're using there, the less clinch stroke. And as you go faster, it becomes lower. But I'm still using those fingers there. Okay, now let's talk about it with the traditional grip. So when I do it with the traditional grip, the accents are done with the thumb. You also see the top fingers moving. So this whole part of the hand is clenching that stick. And those bottom fingers, the bottom two, are coming up. All right? You don't want to do this. Once again, you won't get any speed like that. You're just using all wrists. You've got to let that stick move. Let it bounce. Those are different kinds of paradiddles, doubles, singles. And you see there how I'm using my fingers. So let's go on now to the double paradiddles. Uh, this is a triplet-based exercise. So just like the original three camps, this one's going to have uh, the triplet on the metronome. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Now, this rudiment, like I said, is based on the triplet. So it's going to be four singles and a double. Same concept as the original paradiddle, the single paradiddle. You're going to do those whip strokes. And that stroke carries over to the double. However, because there's more distance now, between the four singles and one double, you're going to have to use a little more wrist on the singles. We'll show you match grip. So the way these turnarounds work, if you look at the second ending, that's a five-stroke roll. Once you get this in your muscle memory, you can just kind of say to yourself, five-stroke roll, and it happens. That's how I get through these. And eventually, it's all in your muscle memory. And you, know, you can just spit it out. You're not thinking about it at all. But that's originally how you want to do it. If you're having trouble with this sticking, the first thing you want to do is just play double paradiddles for a while slowly. So let's say you do it at 100 with the triplet subdivision. So do that for about five minutes, which is quite a long time to do anything like that. And then it'll be in that in your muscle memory. It's just like speaking, although I'm not the best speaker here. <laughs> but, you know, when you're playing, you don't want to stammer on your notes. You don't want there to be hiccups or mistakes, as people might call them. If you have these stickings under your control, there most likely will not be physical mistakes, all right, when you're playing. So uh, I'll play this for you now a little bit slower, match grip. And uh, by the way, that tempo that I was playing was dotted quarter equals 140, the fast tempo. A good slow tempo for this, or slower, 
is dotted quarter equals 120. One, two, three, four. All right, so you see how I'm very relaxed. These sticks do help. There's a lot of weight on the tips, but the main thing is to be really relaxed in your shoulders and, um, you know, try not to move around too much. Don't be tight. Don't forget to breathe. The next one in this book are the triple paradiddles. Now, these are very hard physically because you're doing six singles and then a double. This is also a very long exercise, one of the longest in the book, because there's so many notes. So I'll play this for you at um, quarter note equals 90, which is a good healthy tempo. And I'll play traditional grip first. One, two, three, four. So this is one of the hardest things I think to do as far as endurance goes and concentration at a fast speed. Now when you're playing slower, a good tempo for this is 70, you want to open up a little. So in other words, let's play match grip for you and I'll show you. You could raise the height and also play a bigger accent so it carries through all the way to the double. One, two, three, four.
So the turnaround here for this one is that paradiddle diddle. So it's right, left, right, right, left, left. The last one we'll do today is the paradiddle diddle. Now this one can go really fast and it's very well known as a drum set riff. All the great drummers in the old days, you know, Buddy Rich and Gene Krupa and Louis Belson and Joe Morello, they all use this rudiment quite a bit. Uh, but it's very simple to play. It's basically a right, left, right, right, left, left. So it's a right, left, and a five stroke roll. So this one can go blazingly fast. Uh, a good tempo for this is uh, dotted quarter equals 140. So I'll show you that. Now this is a triplet based exercise. One, two, three, four. Now this one it's important to do the reverse sticking. On the other ones I have reverse sticking as well, but now you're going to lead with your left hand because this particular rudiment or sticking does not alternate. So uh, we'll lead with our left hand and it will end up the accents, they'll all end up being on the left hand. So that looks like this. So you see the way I'm using that whip motion. It helps keep me in time. It also helps me relax. So again, it's a it's a really good uh, sticking for drum set. And we'll play a little of that slower match grip for you. One, two, one, two. Okay, um, same kind of idea, that whip accent. So uh, the paradiddle family, like I said earlier, is probably the most important of all your stickings if you play a lot of rudimental music or drum set. If you can learn these four versions of it, you've got a really good basis for playing fills, different kinds of grooves. Basically, you can get yourself out of any kind of jam that you're in. It's not the only kind of paradiddle sticking. There's reverse stickings where you go right, left, left, right, or left, right, right, left. They're all in the first three pages of Stick Control. But um, like I said, these are a really good place to start. So I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time with part three.